Welcome to this wonderful platform. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across this channel for the first time, you are welcome. Please, if you like what you see here, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell. It's very, very important because it's going to help you to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I present to you news on daily basis on what is happening in the whole world, especially in Nigeria and in Biafra land. Yes, Abmada Biafra. I bring to you Biafra news. So before I do that, what I always do is that I analyze it and I sit down there to watch the video together with you. Then we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. That is why the comment section is there for you to contribute, leave your ideas, your thoughts, your belief about the videos that you have watched. Please, as we are doing this, let us do it constructively. As we we'll hop into today's video, my great people of Biafra, I welcome you anywhere you are watching this video from May God Almighty bless you. Before I continue, I need to say this. This is a news. If you want to get the latest and truthful information regarding Tomas in Nandi Kano's case, you have to be listening, reading news because it doesn't have video. Because of those who come and ask me, show us the video, where is the video? Remember, Mas in Nandi Kano is in detention or British, do you expect them to come and make a video anything they are doing now is being written down so what i'm going to read right now is nam the canals rights british commission as for consular service now the canal rights british commissioner in nigeria demand full protection unconditional release as britain british citizen Kano in the letter exclusively obtained Sahara, Sahara reporters and written by his legal counsel, Roy Ejimako, on Thursday, said the British authority must declare that he is not a criminal but a person who possesses a political opinion which the Nigerian authorities are seeking to suppress using punishment of some sort. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nandi Kano, has written to the British High Commissioner in Nigeria, Katriona Lining, asking that the British authority file a diplomatic note with Nigerian's Federal High Court indicating Brit uh, Britain's sovereign interest in his trial as a British citizen. The IPOB leader was arrested and detained since Sunday with the Department of State Service in Abuja and had been taken to court in chains and handcuffed while his trial was adjourned to July 26. In a copy of the letter to the UK High Commissioner made available to Sahara Reporter on Thursday, on Thursday night, Ejimako reiterated that Kanu being a British citizen did not travel with a Nigerian passport to Kenya where he was abducted. Ejimako in the letter titled Reurgent Request for Counselor Assistant to Oku Kanu Mwakanya Namdi Kenny, a British citizen, established legal, political, and diplomatic reason to defend the pro Biafra sessionist leader. He is also established that there was no extant order of extradition by any British court that was officially processed to deport Kano from Kenya to Nigeria. He therefore asked the British government to demand the release of uh, Kano urgently. The letter reads, we are solicitors to the above named British citizen on whose behalf and instruction we will write this letter to request urgent counsel or assistance to him. Mr. Oku Kano, a.k.a. Nandi Kano, as is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and direct of Radio Biafra, both of which are corporate citizens of the United Kingdom. Mr. Kano resides in the United Kingdom, from which soil he departed on an overseas trip on or about June 19, 2021, on a British passport, passport number. I will not mention the number. Copy of biography page attached here within. We are, we are reliably informed why he was on said overseas travel. He was intercepted in Kenya by Nigerian foreign security agents and brought to Nigeria against his will 
on or about June 27, 2021, and are raised before the Federal High Court in Abuja without the benefit of counsel on June 28, 2031. Currently, he is being detained in the Directorate of State Security Service, DSS, custody in Abuja. Your Excellency, permit us to point to a few legal, political, and diplomatic issues that that have been implicated in this matter. They are, Mr. Khan is a British citizen traveling on a valid passport, traveling on a valid British passport when he was seized in a third country and forcefully brought to Nigeria. Such an act constitutes an unlawful redemption of a bona fide British citizen. He was not traveling on Nigerian passport or the passport of any other country, including that of Kenya. There is no extent order of extradition by any British court or any other foreign court, including Kenya. And we are informed that no pending extradition process proceedings are standing against him in Britain or Kenya. There is no deportation order by any Kenya court or other authority that made him subject to deportation. But if there was, the country of his deportation should have been should have been Britain or which passport he was traveling, deported, deporting him to Nigeria just because he was born in Nigeria. But not traveling on, on her passport is unlawful under international law. The enterprise upon which Mr. Kano is engaged which is seeking the restoration of the defunct state of Biafra through a referendum is a protected political opinion that is self-determination under British and Nigerian laws, which it is enacted at CAP A9, Article 20, Law of the Federation of Nigeria 2024. In our view, the manner of which in our view, the manner of his interception and forcefully deportation to Nigeria is extra legal and does not comport with the partner international laws and treaties to which Nigeria is subject. Ejimako also asked the British authority to view Kano as a political prisoner entitled to a set of political opinion and not a criminal. Based on the Foreign, based on the foregoing, we hereby make the following prayer that Mr. Kano be granted every possible, every possible counselor assistance to which he is entitled as a British citizen, that Mr. Kano be categorized as a high profile political prisoner or a prisoner of a conscience and be thus rendered the highest diplomatic protection under municipal and uh, international law that the Nigerian authority be prevailed upon to immediate allow access to Mr. Kano by his lawyer, doctor, and family members, that the Nigerian authority be prevailed upon to immediately avail Mr. Kano the opportunity of being taken to any hospital of his choice for mental examination, that the British authority file a diplomatic note or other legal process with Nigerian federal High Court and the official of the Attorney General of Nigeria indicating her sovereign interest in Mr. Kano's matter. The British authority declared that Mr. Kano is not a criminal but a person who possess a political opinion in the Nigerian authority seek to supp suppress using punishment of some sort. So my people, this is it. I've been saying this. This is not the period of uh, writing, writing, writing. This is the period of action. We need to do the needful, the things that we can do to save him first before depending because of his health condition. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if it is your first time, subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. Bye-bye. Linda TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye-bye.